I want to thank you all for all the love you shared on our new RV. You know what comes with a new home, lots of organization. Space is such a premium, so I have to be very intentional about what we put inside, but I have help. This video is in partnership with Cricut, and I will be sharing their Cricut Joy Extra Smart Cutting Machine. With Cricut Joy, I can do these organizational labels for our new home, make home decor, custom gifts, and more. It is a compact cutting machine that cuts more than 100 different materials. This means the Joy Extra can do stickers, printables, iron-ons, and it can be done letter size or A4 size. Can you use the same tools? Of course you can. You can still use the same tools. The only difference is that the mats are bigger. She may be small, but she's mighty. You can cut foil, draw larger sizes, then print, then cut. The original Joy didn't have that feature. Another thing that I love most about Cricut Joy Extra is that you can use your iPhone, iPad, Android, tablet, Windows, and iMac. And since my Cricut Joy will be going everywhere with me inside of our RV, I can use my iPad. And this is where I will be using it to show you guys how easy it is to use. Before you get started, have all your tools and everything out because once you start, you don't want to stop. First, I measured my desired size of where I want the decal to go on the bins, and then I went into Cricut Design Space. It's a free software that's easy to learn. Setting up is so easy on almost any mobile device or desktop. You can design and make from anywhere quickly and easily. I am using decals on our bins because it would just make it easier for us to find things quickly. I'm using smart removable vinyl because habits change and I may want to reuse that bin to put something else inside. And you will also notice quickly there is no go button on the machine itself. It's completely controlled by the app. So just follow your prompts on your computer. I'm applying the Cricut transfer tape on top of the decal. And then I'm using the scraper tool to smooth out the wrinkles, making sure to smooth the back as well. I like to cut it down to size and I'm adding transfer tape to the decal, repeating the previous step. And then it's ready to be placed. There's no special way that I like to place my labels, you guys. If you find this challenging, just place a piece of painter's tape at the top and the bottom, leaving space in the middle, and use that as your happy medium. In case you don't know what an RV basement is, it allows you to access the entirety of your storage compartment from one side. Each compartment is lined and we have a full bay 90 inch slide out tray that can be accessed from both sides of the RV, making it easy to access our cargo. This is where Otis will store all of our RV gear inside of these bins. Initially, I ordered these bins and the issue was they were just kind of flimsy and forget about stacking things on top of them, they would just fall off. I'm now transferring my decals to the bins. I like for my decals to match in size for a more uniform look. Hey babe, babe, you wanna tell everybody what's the hardest thing about organizing? All of it. <laughs> He's so used to me doing all the organizing. Uh-huh, get you some. <laughs> There's so much power in using labels in your life in general, but for this, we can definitely benefit from having labels. If you are RV newbie like we are, and you don't know the first place to start when it comes to getting your essentials and what you need, no worries. I will be sharing all these items in a later video because there's a lot of stuff. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you need to know, but you don't need to run out and get it all at once. Surge protector is a must. I cannot stress how important it is to have this. This will protect you from everything that can go wrong and it will give you that running display of what's going on. We got two, a 30 amp and a 50 amp. Definitely a must have. And another bin, we have our sewer hose, AKA stinky slinky. This definitely needs its own bin. We got two sizes, a 15 foot and a 20 foot. The 15 foot is in a smaller bin and the 20 foot is in a larger bin. It's important to keep sewer hoses away from the clean hoses. And in the smaller bin, we also have paper towels and gloves. That's something you definitely want to use when you're dealing with sewer hoses. I didn't put any labels on these bins because the lids are see-through. My decal bins I'm so proud of. Otis wanted a water bin that contained hoses and water hookups and anything that's liquid. And having these bins is so great because in case something spills, it's all contained. He also wanted a tool bin for putting his tools, cables, bungee straps, his drill. This is a moving home on wheels, so things tend to get loose. Zip ties is also a must. Yeah, they can easily get lost. I got these containers from the Dollar Tree to contain them. And of course, levelers to level the RV. Cricut is a worthwhile investment because it will save you money in the long run. You won't have to run to the store to buy birthday cards or gifts last minute because you can do it at home. 
I will leave a link down below in my description box to Cricut, and I also like to thank Cricut for sponsoring this video.